Hey guys, what's up? I got another video for you here. Chugging the uh, Bang Energy drink, because it's actually like one in the morning right now. But So the topic for this video came because my buddy just picked up uh, new drilled rotors for his uh, BMW 335i, under the impression that he's given himself a, a benefit to having drilled rotors. And the stock rotors were obviously solid, because the Beamer puts on those uh, 335i's. And uh, he had the conception that the drilled rotors are going to be better performance. Okay, a lot of people go with that. Uh, what are different rotor types, you might ask? Let's look at them. So we got drilled rotors uh, displayed here, and you got the drill holes going along, usually offset from each other, because when they wear, they start to wear unevenly, causing some uh, weird cosmetic looks. Uh, drill rotors were originated back in the 1950s in order for racers to be able to decrease the rotational mass of their wheels and to allow brake dust and gases to uh, escape through the holes, uh, thus keeping the brakes from pads from sticking to the brake rotors. We don't really have that problem anymore. That was with the old asbestos brakes that had the problem of sticking. Uh, asbestos brakes got outlawed in the 1990s due to health concerns with asbestos, which I'm sure you're familiar with. So the drill rotors, one of their benefits are that they increase, they decrease the uh, rotational mass on the rotors. They also unfortunately heat up faster because of having less mass. A lot of people think they're great for the track, but that might not be the case. Uh, they're great for rainy weather, so right now we're having horrible monsoon seasons and he's going to benefit from having those drilled uh, rotors because the rainy the rain it gives a, a place for the water to escape through those holes, those channels, drill channels. Alright, but the, uh, the cons of those drill rotors, they're prone to failure, they're prone to warping, they're prone to uh, cracking due to the uh, stress uh, that's put in them by drilling them creates weak spots. So what are some other options you might ask? Well, what about slotted rotors? Slotted rotors are another thing you'll see alongside drill rotors on the market for uh, performance rotors. And slotted rotors allow gas to escape, similar to drill rotors. However, instead of having drill holes, they have small sharp slots in them. And what this does is it shaves down the brake pad as it brakes. Now this leads to reduced brake pad life as it's constantly shaving off the top layer of the brake pad and exposing a fresh surface, but it also increases your stopping ability by making sure that there's always a fresh surface of brake pad there. So slotted rotors have a performance benefit, uh, however they also do not help with heat transfer. Uh, so maybe, what's wrong with rocking the old fashioned solid rotors? Honestly solid rotors with vents are not a bad idea if you're going to be hitting the track a lot. They can handle the heat transfer, they're stronger, they can handle the heat without warping, without cracking. Uh, they have a benefit over drilled rotors in that they're tougher and they're going to handle more laps on the track. They have a benefit over slotted rotors in that they are, aren't going to shave down the brake pads as much and the brake pads are going to last longer. So best braking, best to worst, best braking slotted rotors and then solid rotors, and then drilled rotors. Drilled rotors are better because they're lightweight and they can rotate quicker, taking that load off the drivetrain for spinning the, the wheels, the less weight there, the uh, quicker you can accelerate. That's where drilled rotors come in, and good for wet weather performance. Solid rotors last the longest. They can heat up the most, they're the toughest, they last the longest. Slotted rotors give the best braking performance, but wear down your brakes the quickest. And that's probably the most you ever didn't want to know about brake rotors. So next time you're in the market for a set of brake rotors, decide what you want. They all have pros and cons, but if your buddy tries to tell you that the drilled rotors are absolutely the best, now you can tell them that, no, actually, that's not true. There's quite a few options. All right, hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Really trying to grow the channel, and every subscription helps. Also, uh, check out the channel Boost in Motion. It's one of my favorite channels to watch. Uh, the guy has really good Infinity content. All right, that's it for tonight.